Hello, this is Easy, and I got a script that you can download and try, and it's called the Easy VDM Templates. The link will be below the video. Um, what you'll do is you'll uh, extract the zip file to your desktop, um, then you can right click the folder and create a shortcut and paste it over in your Z projects, and that's where you see mine, or you can just load it through the Z script. Um, we're going to double click in here. Uh, you'll see this. Uh, this uh, morph flow and the BDM morph flow and the BDM morph high and this is a script here okay it's the easy BDM morph brush it's not actually the brush it is the script we double click this uh, then you'll see the script down here I got the morph low loaded um, I'm gonna press copy because I'll probably reuse this here in a second um, you can make medium brushes uh, through the standard brush or the chisel 3d um, BDM is for vector displacement uh, meshes and you'll know it's a BDM brush when you see the text says 3d in the alpha look at the nose and look next to the upper left uh, it says 3d uh, this is a BDM brush so with this script you can create them and actually create them quicker and they seem to look a lot better so, with that said, we're going to press from tool, but before we do, we hoover our mouse over, it says append object first, so i got a hotkey, and I'm just going to press and pin this uh, star here. And when I do this, I'll say from tool, and we'll get this pop up at one time, so we'll let that go with that. Alright, this thing here is ready to go, um, it is masked. Um, right now, if I want to go ahead and create a VDM brush right now, because um, you, I have pinned it, now you can see there is no subtools. So if I want to make a VDM, I'll make it a VDM right now. Okay, then you'll see the text says 3D in the alpha. So this is a VDM brush. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and paste that back, and we're gonna do it again. And I'm gonna show you something else you can do with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pin the. Uh, Let's go ahead and pin this star back. And as you can see, we got two over here in the sub tools. And we get done. You can see now we got one. Now, what you can do with this, uh, there's an option over here under the morph targets. Okay. Um, it's got a morph target to it, so you can switch the morph target. Uh, you can move the slider. something like that and then we can go ahead and just bring this back through the history here and then get back to where it's flat here okay uh, you can see it has no bump we can press uh, move here uh, we can also pull this in and out manually like this which is pretty handy and we'll, like I said, once we're done, we can make it a BTM. Uh, another thing that we can do, uh, we're going to go ahead and paste here. Uh, if we have a alpha, we're going to go to the next one from alpha. All right, we don't need to press the pin. And we'll select this one here. And we're going to press from alpha. All right, now this is a, made a little bump here. And we can also scroll back through here to uh, make it flat um, and drag. All right, once we have that there, we'll press move. Uh, you can see the alpha uh, went off, so we probably need to turn that back on, okay? And then you can kind of drag in and out like that. And once you're done, make it a BDM. And then we can test that out. You can see it says 3D. We'll paste the tool here. Um, like I said, I don't know if I said this earlier, the focus shift and the Z intensity is a key factor here. So you'll have to adjust this according to what you think is the best. And these make nice little brushes. As you can see on this one here, a nice smooth edge around it. It looks fairly smooth to me. 
I had to pause the video just for a second to show you something as you can see when I was showing you when I said you could scroll back through here um, then if you press move um, you might want to press the alpha it's not necessary that you do but uh, the reason that you might I mean see it's still working the reason you might want to select it is is because if you select it you can actually press the from alpha more than once and as long as that alpha is showing there you can make it just go larger and larger and larger uh, another little tip is when this script is running uh, it will grab the image for the MRGBZ grabber and it will also grab it from the texture grab dock um, you'll see two different size alpha you want to really use the larger one because it'll line a whole lot better uh, the small I'll just show you example so if I select that one there and from alpha well let me go ahead and copy this real quick and from alpha we it works pretty good like that all right let's paste this back and if we choose a smaller one and do the same thing um, it's not doesn't to look too much like the star okay uh, this is kind of optional if you want to use it but you know you don't have to uh, just to let you know that uh, it's best to use the larger one and it will usually say the depth grabber on it instead of the Z grabber so make sure you kind of use that one there another thing when the script is running uh, these edges it will kind of try smoothing them out a little bit if you don't want it to do that um, what you're basically going to have to do is come through here because um, anytime that you click these buttons it'll try smoothing it out you'll just have to manually just work it the way you want to keep them hard edges anyway uh, the script is below the video you can download and try it thank you